So today the built-in Mac functionalities on the FortiGate. And I know Fortinet isn't particularly known as a wireless and switching vendor. But nevertheless, they have some pretty decent devices to enable secure access as part of their security fabric approach. NEC was already there in FortiOS 6.4, but was introduced in the GUI in 7.0. Our setup, we're going to use a FortiGate, which is running as a VM on my hypervisor and a FortiSwitch 224E. But actually, you can use any type of Forti switch as long as the firmware supports the NEC functionalities. The way these switches are managed is based on Fortinet's FortiLink technology. This is a feature on a FortiGate which automatically discovers the switch and allows the FortiGate to manage its configuration. As soon as you connect the FortiLink ports between the FortiGate and the Forti switch, the Forti switch will pop up in the GUI of the FortiGate and you can start creating VLANs which automatically get trunked across your topology. Now that our switch is authorized, we can start by creating some VLANs. I've already done so, so in our setup we're going to use the corporate VLAN with VLAN ID 10, a guest VLAN, limited access VLAN and AP management VLAN. All of them have their own subnet, 192.168. Dot, and then the VLAN number. So now we can start by creating our NAC policies. Therefore you need to go to Wi-Fi and switch controller and click on NAC policies. If this is the first time that you're going to access those, you will probably be presented with a wizard. In the wizard on the first page, we need to select our onboarding VLAN. This is set to a default value, but we will change that later on. On the next page, you will see all the VLANs which are present. So there we see our VLANs which we've created, but also some other VLANs which are there by default. Before we can start creating our rules, we first need to change the default configuration on our FortiGate. Because by default, our FortiGate is configured to use NAC VLAN segmentation. This is a technology where we can do micro segmentation by changing the VLAN without changing the IP address information. That's not our goal of today, so we're going to disable this and create our own onboarding VLAN with VLAN ID 50 in the 50 subnet. Once that's created, we can save this, select the interface and save the configuration. Now we can start creating our actual NEC rules. In order to do so, click on create new. There you will see on the page that we have four types of NEC. We have one for devices. One where we can do NAC based on the user, on EMS tag, and one on vulnerability. The first where we will focus on is one for devices. We're going to create a NAC rule which automatically assigns our 40 AP to the AP management VLAN. For the hardware vendor, we're going to choose Fortinet, and for the device family, we will choose AP. In the assign VLAN field, we can then enter the AP management VLAN and we can save the rule. In order to know which values you can use in fields like hardware vendor and device family, you can refer to the FortiSwitch documentation. Over there you will find a JSON with all the supported values. I will also put the link in the description below. So now let's test our rule. First we're going to set the mode of port 1 of our FortiSwitch to NAC mode. Then we go back to our NEC policies and we click on view match devices. Now let's plug my AP in. Yeah, it's on. And now I'm not speeding this up so you can see the actual speed. If I refresh it, then once it will get detected and my AP is assigned to the AP management VLAN as you can see right now. So you can do a bunch of other cool stuff with the NEC rules on a FortiGate. Like we've seen, you could, for example, create a NAC rule based on a specific user or user group and assign it to a specific VLAN by creating, for example, a captive portal on the onboarding VLAN. Another thing that you could do is work with vulnerabilities. If a vulnerability gets detected by an application control profile, assign it to a more restrictive VLAN. Now, the EMS stack use case is one I'm particularly interested in, and this is the one which we are going to configure as well. Over here, I'm creating a rule where all the endpoints with the corporate compliant tag are being assigned to the corporate VLAN. This is a way to check whether an endpoint has, for example, an AV running 
or a specific program or registry key, etc. etc. There are a lot of options. On my VM, you can see that I'm now in the 50 VLAN, which is our onboarding VLAN. In the 40 client, you can also see that I have no tags assigned. And when I try to ping the default gateway of the 10 VLAN, I cannot reach it. Now I've opened a program which makes my endpoint secure. This makes sure that I get the corporate compliant tag in my 40 client. Now this is being signalized to the 40 gate and the 40 gate will change the VLAN so that I can now reach my default gateway of VLAN 10. Okay, so that was it. I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to put them in the comments. Also, if you have ideas for new videos, let us know. If you want to reach out, please send an email to tech at exclusive.networks.be and see you next time.